we can use partial products to multiply two-digit numbers. Let's look at an example. Sandra has 12 model airplane kits with 24 miniature model planes in each. How many model planes does she have in all? In this problem, we have 12 groups of 24 planes. We need to find the total number of planes. So, an equation that can represent this problem is p equals 12 times 24. We can decompose each factor to make multiplying easier. 12 is the same as 10 plus 2. 24 is the same as 20 plus 4. Now we can multiply each part of one factor by each part of the other factor. To understand, think about a rectangle with a width of 12 and a length of 24. We would multiply the sides to find the area. To make it easier, we could decompose each side, then multiply to find the area of each part. The area of this part is 10 times 20. The area of this part is 10 times 4. The area of this part is 2 times 20. And the area of this part is 2 times 4. The total area of the rectangle is equal to the sum of these partial areas. We can write this as an expression with parentheses. 10 times 20 plus 10 times 4 plus 2 times 20 plus 2 times 4. Now simplify each set of parentheses. In other words, find the area of each part. 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times 4 is 40. 2 times 20 is 40. And 2 times 4 is 8. Add the partial products to find the total area or total product. 200 plus 40 plus 40 plus 8 equals 288. So 12 times 24 equals 288. Connect it back to the word problem. In 12 kits of 24 planes each, Sandra has 288 planes in all. In this video, you have learned to multiply two two-digit numbers using partial products and an area model. Thanks for watching.